Chan Chun Singh speaks about River Valley High School incident. Education Minister Chan Chun Singh spoke to Parliament yesterday about the recent River Valley High School incident, as well as some follow up actions to be taken. The River Valley High School incident. On 19 July, inside a toilet, sometime during lunch break, a 16 year old Sec 4 student randomly attacked and killed a 13 year old Sec 1 student he did not even know. He had wounded the Sec 1 student multiple times with an axe, which he had bought online and snuck into school. At 11.35 a.m., towards the end of lunch break, a group of students encountered the Sec 4 student, who was still holding the axe, outside of the toilet. He told them to call the police, so they decided to return to their class and inform their teacher. The Sec 4 student then approached another group of students in the classroom next to the toilet to ask them to call the police too. This group responded by immediately following the run, hide, tell lockdown drill by going into their classroom, locking the doors and then calling their teachers for help. A teacher arrived at the scene and told the student to put down the axe. He complied and was escorted away while other teachers called the police and checked the toilet. About 10 minutes later, the police arrived and detained the Sec 4 student. They also found the Sec 1 student's body and pronounced him dead. After things settled down, the principal informed her staff about the incident. She also told students that a serious incident had happened and asked them to contact their parents to reassure them that they were safe. The principal then spoke to the students most affected by the incident. Parents were also informed via the Parents Gateway communication app that a serious incident had happened in school. At 3.15pm, students were dismissed and teachers were also stationed to clarify parents' and students' queries. Education Minister Chan also went to the school to assist the staff there. By evening, parents were properly told that a student had died on school grounds and were asked to contact form teachers if they had any concerns. On the next day, 20 July, the Sec 4 student was charged with murder and remanded for psychiatric assessment. Support given to those affected. About 540 River Valley High School staff and students sought psychological help following the incident. This is out of a total student population of more than 2,000. On the day after the incident, 20 July, which was also happened to be a public holiday, a caring actions in response to an emergency post was set up in school to offer assistance with the Ministry of Education MOE dispatching 98 specialists and school counsellors to provide additional support. Education Minister Chan and senior MOE office officials also met with 350 principals from primary schools to junior colleges on the day after the incident. On 21st July, School resumed as it was decided that keeping the place open to allow students and staff to come together and make sense of the situation was better for the recovery process. Those who still stayed at home were called out by their teachers, but were still granted leave if they wanted to grieve. MOE also sent over master teachers to take over some classes. Even with the depressing situation, students still demonstrated compassion by supporting one another and even their teachers with small gifts, snacks, and encouraging notes. Follow-up actions to the incident. Education Minister Chan said yesterday that prevention and enhanced community vigilance was preferred to introducing even more intrusive security measures. Chan said that school is supposed to be a second home for students, a trusted, safe, and warm space where they can cultivate lifelong relationships and engage in self-discovery. Chan pointed out that schools already have numerous security measures to protect students, including fences, CCTVs, alarms, and spot checks for visitors. If the MOE were to enforce increased measures on students like bag checks and metal detectors, then it would lead to a siege mentality, fostering a sense of paranoia, making school feel like an unsafe alien place. Chan stated that there are existing measures already implemented in all schools, such as the school emergency structure, which teaches first aid, search, tra uh, trauma management, 
evacuation, handling of casualties, and management of emergency situations. Chan, however, acknowledged that more had to be done, and hence plans to increase the number of teachers cross-trained in security incident uh, management. He also is working on progressively installing new doors in schools that can be locked from the inside, alongside teaching staff and students how to barricade themselves in classrooms with whatever doors they do currently have. The number of teacher counsellors who are teachers given counsellor training will be raised from the current 700 to over 1,000 in the next few years. Students who require more help will also be referred to the Response, Early Intervention and Assessment in Community Mental Health REACH teams or other directed counselling social services. There will also be a new character and citizenship education curriculum starting this year for lower secondary students, which will allow them to develop mental health literacy, such as knowing when to seek help.